How are you grade 4 learners? We are still in 4th quarter. This is week 3. Visualizes and finds the volume of a solid figure using cubic centimeter and cubic meter. After going through this lesson, you are expected to visualize the volume of solid figures in different situations using non-standard and standard units. Finds the volume of a rectangular prism using cubic centimeters and cubic meters. We use different units of objects like marbles, stone, beans, and others that are countable. When a non-standard unit use is small, we need many objects to fill the container. When we use big units, we need fewer objects to fill the container. So, what are the non-standard units? Non-standards do not give consistent and accurate measurement of the volume of a container. Let us take a look at this example. Jane and Carlo wanted to find the volume of an empty box. First, they fill the box with a ball about 54 balls filled the box about 54 balls next they fill the box with marbles about 285 marbles fill the box so about 285 marbles then they fill the box with the beans about 740 beans fill the box so about 740 beans did Jane and Carlo get the same number of units of volume of the box? Why? Non-standard units do not give the same measure of volume for the same container. Let us have an example. A rectangular prism is a solid figure that has six faces, 12 edges, and 8 vertices. Vertex or vertices in plural form is the corner of a shape. Edge is a segment where two faces of a prism meet. Some rectangular prisms have faces that are shaped like rectangles and squares. This is a cube. All dimensions are equal. So, the formula for finding the volume of a cube is side times side times side. Or, volume equals S times S times X. Example, the side is 3. So, 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27 cubic units. This is rectangular prism and the dimensions are length width and height. So the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism, volume equals length times width times height. For example, the length is 4 centimeters, the width is 3 centimeters, and the height is 5 centimeters. So 4 times 3 times 5 equals 60 cubic centimeters. Therefore, in finding the volume, you have to multiply the length, width, and height if it is rectangle and if it is square 
multiply side by side by side or S times S times S. According to what we have started in our lesson, can you now visualize using non-standard units and find the volume of a rectangular prism? Let us see. Answer the task below. Learning task 1. Get boxes similar in the column above. Visualize the volume. Find the actual number of marbles that will each box. Use some size of marbles or other available counters or materials in your house. Learning task 2. Use the formula to find the volume of each prism below. Write your answer on your paper. Number 1. The formula is volume equals length times width times height. Or B equals L times W times H. So the length is 8 centimeters. The width is 5 centimeters and the height is 2 centimeters. Multiply. So, volume equals 80 cubic centimeters. Number 2. Since this is a cube, the formula is volume equals side times side times side. Or V equals S times S times S. So, 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters and the volume is 1,728 cubic centimeters. This answer number 3 using this formula. And number 4 using this formula. After we discover the learnings from the task, let us add more information to visualize using non-standard units like marbles, beans, etc. and find volume using standard units like cubic centimeter and cubic meter. For your learning task 3, visualize using non-standard units. Which box will have the greater number of mongo seeds. Write yes if greater and no if not. Learning task 4. Find the volume using the given measurement. Write on your paper. Let us answer box A. Let's multiply the length, the width, and the height. The length is 10 cm times width 6 cm and height 8 cm. The volume is 480 cubic centimeters. Then, please try to answer letter B and letter C. Did you understand how to visualize using non-standard units and find the volume of a rectangular prism? Using cubic centimeter and cubic meter, let me see if you can. Let us answer the following. Learning task 5. Answer the following on your paper. Number 1. A wooden box is 24 meter long, 18 meters wide, and 9 meters high. How much space it enclosed? Using the formula, Volume equals length times width times side. So just multiply 24 meters, 18 meters, and 9 meters. So the volume is 3,888 cubic meters. Can you answer number 2 problem? Remember this. Volume is the amount of space a solid figure occupies. Non-standard units can be used to measure volume. We use different units or objects like marbles, 
stone, beans, and others that are countable. When a non-standard unit use is small, we need many objects to fill the container. When we use big units, we need fewer objects to fill the container. Non-standard units do not give consistent and accurate measurement of the volume of a container. Volume is measured in cubic units, such as cubic centimeters, cubic meters, and cubic millimeters. Use B equals L times W times H to find the volume of a rectangular prism. Where L is length, W is width, and H is the height of the rectangular prism. Use V equals S cube to find the volume of a cube, where S is an edge of a cube. Now, in this part, your knowledge will be tested again. To assess your understanding of our lesson for this week, do the following task. Learning task 7. Answer the given situation. Write your answer in your paper. Explain your answer. Get a medium-sized chocolate box and a medium-sized powdered milk carton or two different available boxes in your house. Which do you think has a greater volume? How will you test which box has a greater volume? Learning task A. Find the volume of each rectangular prism or cube. Write your answer on your paper. Number 1. Since this is a cube, the formula is volume equals side times side times side or S times S times S. So 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters. The volume is 1,728 cubic centimeters. Number 2. Since this is rectangular prism, the formula is volume times length times width times height. So let's multiply 24 centimeters times 3 centimeters times 6 centimeters and the volume is 432 cubic centimeters. It's your time to answer number 3 using this formula. And number 4 using this formula. Maraming salamat muli sa pagsama nyo sa atin sa ating video. Kung nagustuhan nyo ang ating video, please like and subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bago pang darating na videos. Pwede kayo mag-comment at syempre, please share this to your classmates. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!